Hey guys, it's Woodif here. Welcome back to NASCAR Heat 2 Crew Mode for East 2036 Season 3. We're in a Cup Series. We're going to Indianapolis today. Last race was in New Hampshire, and it was better than normal, um, complete cakewalk sort of races, so it was worth the watch. I mean, I don't, if people don't watch this series anymore, I don't blame you. It's only for the hardcore fans. <laughs> but, so Indy, another power track. We should do well there. Um, obviously, we don't have the, the momentum things, so I don't know how OP we're going to be. But here's the settings. We're going to bump up the uh, tire and field times 4 and legend difficulty and everything same as always. Want to show that again so people don't think I'm cheating. There you go. Legend difficulty, 13% recently. Same stuff as always. So anyways, without further ado, I'm going to get right into qualifying here. Um, put in a default setup and see where we start. And say it with me, probably start around the mid-20s. Up turn four, we'll see what this lap time is. I'm assuming like mid 20s, like always. I mean, it's just nothing new at this point. So we're just gonna reach 200 miles an hour, 23rd. So, yep, that's all. <laughs> that's just uh, what we always continue to get. So, who got the pull? I didn't like last races. Okay, Jimmy Johnson. All right, it's better than Logano. The Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series has pulled into Indianapolis Motor Speedway for the Brickyard 400. So much racing history has happened at this hallowed place. Last year, Kyle Busch made more as he became the first driver ever to sweep both the Xfinity and Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series races at Indy two years in a row. His Toyota has simply been unstoppable. So it's time to see if he can pull off a three-peat and kiss the bricks one more time. Here we go, the race is about to begin, get ready. And green flags out, we're underway at Indianapolis. A big, important, marquee race of NASCAR. Even though the racing sucks except for 2017, because it was such a shit show that it turned into something so bad it's good. <laughs> so, <laughs> already, right off the bat, we gained four spots. We have a five lap stage, ooh, got in the ham a little bit, and nine laps in the fuel, so... Yeah, we're probably gonna have to pit the end of stage one and t stage two. Probably just take two tires at the end of this and then maybe four at the end of stage two. So I guess that's our strategy. So yeah, so with the, with the five star car and this being a very speedy track and the draft so disgustingly OP, this is not gonna be, I think we're gonna make more repasses in the straightaways than anything in the corner. So get by Suarez we're definitely gonna get stage points without a question just gonna be careful going into one don't want to go like three wide or anything so just slowly just bite our time get through the pack as Jimmy continues to lead so I kind of messed up that corner a little bit I felt it in in the controller I felt a mistake but what if how is that a mistake I felt it okay so, just gonna try to not go for a gap. So I'm going to go against what Arn Senna said. If you can't, if you don't go for a gap, you're not a real race car driver. So I always take it to heart, where it's kind of like you know, it, it, like I should just kind of just die bomb every corner and just completely just Denny Hamlin it. That's pretty much the term I should, I guess, it should be used as Denny Hamlin it, ing it, ing it, ing it. So yeah, it's just always funny. Because I don't, I don't know, it's just, it's just cute, you know? Like, I could go for that gap right there, but I'm not. I wonder if Jimmy Johnson did that, he would be like not a, race, a real racing fan or something. I don't know. He's not a real race car driver. <laughs> Jimmy's not a real race car driver. He may have seven championships and, ooh. You know, that would be an interesting topic to talk about sometime, about Jimmy Johnson and these championships. Because I feel like, it'll be so, ooh, oh. ooh, I don't think the game liked me talking about Jimmy. But... It would be a very interesting topic to discuss because I, I just feel bad because I think he is a very talented driver, but I feel like, you know, I don't, I don't know, just, I just feel like, you know, those seven championships, not all of them are truly, really earned. And before anybody says it, but what if? What about Dale Earnhardt? Yeah, or no, Earnhardt wasn't, didn't have, didn't deserve seven titles either. Maybe like six or something, but... 1990 is an example. Yeah. Without that penalty, Mark would have won it. So, it's, it's, um, 94. Always people debate on whether he could have won it in 94. 
if Ernie Irvin raced the rest of the season. And I think I was I was working on a video like this about a year ago, and I just never could finish it properly. Because we're not actually going to get stage. We're actually not going to win the stage. Holy shit! I just realized that. Um, but I've always thought about. Um, making a video like that, like, you know, what if, you know, Ernie Irvin didn't get hurt in 94 in Michigan? Like, would he have won the championship if he continued to race full-time? Basically, the, the the gist of the video is, was pretty much that, like, like, had he run, like, the rest of the season, factoring in, like, all the points he accumulated in the first 10 races or something, then he wouldn't have. Like, it would have been a lot closer than what it would have been in real life with, like, Mark Martin, so... I still think Earnhardt would have won the title in 94. So I think Earnhardt had a very slight lead. Like maybe like 40 or 50 point lead. Going into the next race where Ernie got injured. So I don't think he would have won the title in 94. But he definitely would have put up a lot more of a better fight than what Mark had. So I think the points bet would have been a lot closer. But yeah, maybe Earnhardt might have had like maybe 6 that he should have got. But then again, like you could go back and like year after year. Be like, well, okay, yeah, we get, sta we get stage points. The one time I wouldn't mind a race to be longer. So I could talk about random shit from the past. That was not even born yet. <laughs> so we're going to pit. We're just going to put in, I don't know, 1.5 cans of fuel, two tires, not repair damage. And, ooh. Oh, damn. We get the lead. All right. Well, this will be an easy, easy stage two victory. But should I just cut or should I just continue talking about random shit? I mean, it, it's a, it'll be a cheap excuse to pad out the video. Yeah, fuck it. I'm going to continue what I'm talking about. So. I'm going to do it. I don't care. So. Like, you can look back at, like, something from, like, 1989. And, like, say, like oh, Earnhardt could have won the title there. Because I think Rudd got into him. Or Earnhardt came down and Rudd got in a big wreck. And he, that kind of screwed Earnhardt out of the title in 89. When Rusty won it. But the whole Jimmy Johnson thing, I feel bad because it just, like, I know he's a very, he's a good driver, very obviously talented, but I feel like his seven titles aren't, all, not all seven of them are truly earned. And it's really just because of the shades. It just waters down the authenticity of the champion, which is kind of a shame. But, like, even, like, one of, even, like, I think the years he did truly deserve it were... I can't remember the years. I know 2013 he absolutely deserved it no matter what. 2000... 2009, 2000... 2013, 2009, and 2006, I think? I believe so. And then 07 would have been, like, Gordon. 08 would have been Carl Edwards. 2010 would have been Harvick. 2011 was going to be... I can't remember. Carl Edwards probably again. So I feel like he he does like he he warrants like three titles, and then people will be like, oh, what about Richard Petty? It's like, eh. like in the modern era, I think he got like three or four titles, I believe, and he had like 60 wins in the modern era, and I always go by that because he was racing in an era where they had like double or triple the amount of races, or almost double the amount of races they have now, damn near. Either like like I don't know, like 50 some plus races so like there was more of a likelihood of of winning more so imagine if, if there was a regular season and there was like 60 races and Truex this year was so dominant he probably could have won nearly 15 16 17 18 times so I don't really look at Richard Petty's 200 wins and just be like yeah that's you know I that's like the thanks thanks NASCAR heat can't talk about anything well we win a stage mm, god I can't I just I just want to talk about bullshit, and I can't. Well, nobody's pitting, which is a horrible idea. So we're going to do just that. Um, full full tank, four tires. Definitely take advantage of this, because they're not going to make it to the end. And Matt Kenseth is the only person with common sense. And Kurt Busch having issues, too. Okay. All right, well, this is pretty much an easy win. I mean, really, just, that's really going to be an easy win. So... <laughs> But I never really, like, think and look back at, like, Richard Petty's, like, 200 wins and be like, oh, yeah, that's, like, impressive. Because I don't really, I don't really go by that. I kind of just go by, by more of, like, modern era wins. Which Jeff Gordon obviously has that record pretty well hooked. So. 
that's just just my take on it. Like I don't really look back and think like that. Two of those two hundred wins are like truly impressive, considering the fact he was already in like a pretty much a well equipped car, one of the first teams to really get like. I, well, I guess I guess David Pearson was like the first, or if, you know Wood Brothers would be like was like the first I think. But Petty had Richard Petty had great equipment and he was there every week. I mean, you know, the amount of people that ran full-time to even compete with them was only a few people, so. I, I, I just think, yeah, he, I just think he is definitely overrated and overhyped or over-exaggerated uh, too much. And that's not to say, like, you know, the years where he was in the, the modern era from 90, you know, 72 to 92 was, you know, bad. I mean, he had 60 wins. It's still really impressive in three or four, three or four titles. I can't remember which one. That, well, that's still a good good credit. That's still good, but it's just... It's kind of a shame, because, like, that kind of almost puts it at, like... I don't even know, like... I don't know the percentages. But I just think he is a little bit overrated. Like, I look at... I don't know, it's just... And it's just kind of a shame because I feel like Jimmy's championships and all that with the chase just kind of waters it down. Like, the, the amount of success he does have and everything is... I don't, I think Turbane almost nailed the inside wall. Jesus Christ. Um, that's just my random take on it. I don't even know really what really to talk about. There's no stakes. There's nothing really to worry about because I think they're all going to have to pit. They're not going to be able to make it on fuel. They're going to be like three to four laps short, so... We're, we're fine. Actually, just barely. Wow. That that stage caution really kind of threw everything out of loop because we have seven to, well, basically six, seven to go. And we're right there on the bubbles. I bump in the Stenhouse. Don't you get sideways, okay? Thankfully, you didn't do that. But, I don't know. That's just, that's just my random take on shit. And I already made the video talking about like the you know, my thoughts on the other you know chase formats over the years and all that. It's it's just uh just kind of a shame. I don't know. I just feel like I, I know this Kyle Kyle Bush. Ooh. I just always I got nothing. I don't know what to talk about. I mean, it's just there's there's nothing really to to, to freak out about. I'm just chilling, passing people, and a yellow came out, and we're just gonna make it on fuel. Um, I could stay out, and then we'll be, definitely be able to make it on fuel. Be able to save fuel under this caution. I don't know. Oh, I'm gonna stay out. I know I can make it on fuel. Surprisingly, it's not a... Uh, well, Kenseth is the only person that pitted along with me, so... Yeah, the, the the two people that had common sense uh, have the best strategy <laughs> by by luck kind of. So three to go, six in the fuel. All right, we'll definitely be able to make it on fuel. <sighs> I don't know what to talk about anymore. I got nothing. Actually, I just saw something. Um, I remember I think in 2016. I was like, you know, I'm kind of curious, you know, what would the 2000 um, season be like if there was like that, you know, 2014 and 2016 chase format and how that would all kind of play out. And I remember vividly, like, I think, I remember like the final four, one of them was Steve Park. I'm not kidding. Like, one of them was Steve Park, which is very, very weird. But I just always just kind of remember that because it kind of just shows how just stupid this that format was. That's that's the worst incarnation of a chase of the chase format ever. Like it is just such a stupid, dumb mess. I already explained in the in the chase format video and all that. Um, it just it's it's just terrible. I can at least I at least like this newer format more than that. Which I don't know if that says a lot because the the, the previous one was so bad. I think anything would have been better. So I do like that. I just I just still hate the fact that it just comes down to one race, which is just always just bothers me. Because it, it's just not I don't know, it's just so artificial trying to have like tension instead of it being like organically built up throughout the rest of the season. That's like that's what made the ninety two championship was so exciting was just that it just so happened that there was people that were within a chance to win. And it just so happened that, you know, if 
it was just entertaining. Like, not every year. It, it's not Racing's not like this... It's not supposed to be so epic, dramatic, holy shit, every, you know, every finale. Well, we get the win here at India, as so I was talking about a bunch of shit. I got nothing early, and just... I don't feel like just sitting here being quiet the whole goddamn time. So that was kind of interesting of a race. This is a very kamikaze style sort of video where I'll just talk about things. I'm very desensitized to winning at this point. Like it doesn't really phase me. I don't even know what to, I don't even know what thumbnail to even look at. I mean, I really there's really nothing. So there, these I swear I don't know how people watch this shit. Fucking <laughs> stupid. There's nothing interesting that happens in these fucking races. I'm just I guess I'm just too clean, too good. And that's actually a decent thumbnail, kind of. I don't, who knows. Wait, is there anything better? No. I wish I could focus on certain drivers. There you go. So, future what if, with that little snap, he'll figure out where the hell to put this, so. Alright, so we get the win. Kent at second. It's me and him were the only people that had a good pitch strategy, so good shout out to him. And Kurt Busch last. Okay. Well, that was, I don't even know what that race was. More winnings, more earnings, blah, blah, blah. So, more wins, more stage wins. I don't even know who won the first stage. I think Truex? No, it wasn't. I don't, I don't freaking know. Oh, no, we didn't complete the incentive contract. Oh, the, 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 the horror. So, next race, I believe's Pocono? Oh, okay, well, let's go to this. So, yeah, okay. Next race is Pocono. So... Another another win probably. Then after that, I think it's Watkins Glen. Check the rivals. Got Austin Dillon, Stenhouse. Surprisingly, the other ones went away, so that's interesting. I don't know if I even got into Stenhouse at all or Dillon in this race. I think I, I, maybe I did. I don't, I don't know. I was just talking about a bunch of shit. So that's really it. I got nothing more to say. That was just a very blase race. Oh my god. What have I created? I've created a monster this season. Why is that that series that I that goes up is easier? Like the truck series was harder than this. Oh my god! All right. Well, I got nothing more to say. I'm just I'm just gonna read off. Also, a big shout to my two or three Patreon supporters: the Dan Reynolds, Brian Hill, Scott Browning, Mark Kohler, Roland Hopper, Weather Bros, Kamikaze Game, Chef Gordon, and Ronnie Lazarin for their donation. Again, I can't say enough how much I appreciate each and every single one of you. It does mean a lot to me, and you guys are seriously awesome, and it makes me feel better. And whatever the hell that race was, because that, that race was... I don't know. I'll see you all next race of Pocono. Um, I got nothing really, so... I'll see you all later, and as always, have a good day, everyone.